Congratulations, you made a movie and you're feeling great about the way it turned out. Now you want the rest of the world to see your story. And one of the best ways to do this is by entering your movie into festivals. I'm talking about film festivals. Today at the Greenhouse, we'll be going over the basic requirements of film festivals and what to expect from them. There are roughly 3,000 active film festivals around the globe. Now, before you blindly enter your film, you should do some research and strategize which film festival is best for you. Now, there are big name festivals like Sundance and Canes and mid-range festivals like South by Southwest and Tribeca and niche festivals which accept films for a specific theme or genre. And the festival that you submit to will depend on your film. And if you believe it can be accepted into the big festivals, then shoot for the stars. Most festivals have a website that tells you what kind of films they will accept, or you can find a listing of festivals on a website like filmfreeway.com. Some festivals only allow certain categories, such as horror, comedy, documentary, and so on. Make sure your film is the right fit for the festival, otherwise it'll get rejected. You should understand the festivals have rules and regulations. Every festival is different and has their own submission rules, so make sure to read the fine print. It's also important to note that some festivals, such as the Toronto International Festival, want premiere status, which means they're not going to accept your movie if it's been distributed, publicly posted online, or accepted by other film festivals. Submitting to festivals will cost money. The average for submitting a short film is $30 to $60, which may not seem like much, but remember, the more film festivals you enter, the more money you end up spending. Now, make sure that you plan for submission costs and don't forget to budget money for travel, hotels, and food to attend the festival if your film gets selected. Please, sir, spare some change. Could you spare some change for my movie? Some festivals require an electronic press kit or an EPK. This is a digital compilation of videos, photos for your film, along with interviews of your cast and crew. You may even include posters of your film and a short trailer. If your film is selected, you'll be contacted with the good news. You love me. You all really love me. Great. Now, make sure you plan to attend the event. It would be really awkward if you submitted a film, but you never showed up for the festival. Film festivals are also a place to meet and connect with other filmmakers. So be social, talk to people, build relationships. There are many talented people who attend festivals and you never know who you will meet. Now it's time to get submitting. And remember, if you don't get chosen for the festival, don't be discouraged. Keep making new films and submitting. You never know. Your next film might end up being the next Sundance Grand Jury Prize winner. What are your favorite festivals to submit to and why? Let us know in the comments down below. For more industry information, go to our website at greenhouseproductions.com. There you can learn about us and our industry-related events and programs.